Before we begin, a shout out to Bert Polly, who is a VIP patron of the channel. All right, everyone. In this final video of the series, I want to take a few minutes to summarize what we have learned and talk about where to go from here. We started off by learning to type some basic and advanced props for a component. We then learned how to type events and styles. After that, we learned how to type the various hooks. Use state with a default value, with a future value, and the same with use reducer. We also learned how to type the context API with an initial value and a future value and finally, the use ref hook. We also had a look at typing class components to help work on projects that are a few years old. We then moved on to some of the more advanced topics when it comes to React and TypeScript, like passing a component as a prop, generic props, restricting props, template literals and the exclude utility type, wrapping HTML elements and the omit utility type, how to extract a component prop types, and finally, how to type a polymorphic component in React. I hope you now have the knowledge to get started with React and TypeScript. From here, my recommendation would be to master TypeScript itself. There are a lot more features and types that you should be aware of, and of course, you can expect a TypeScript tutorial for beginners in this channel very soon. I would also recommend building a project with React and TypeScript. With that, we come to the end of the series on React and TypeScript. If you would like to support the channel, or if you're generally interested in more content, please do visit learn.codeevolution.dev for my paid courses. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.